Go on, that way. Go. Get out of here. Go on. Go. Take off, bud. Go on. Go. Go on. No. That way. Go on. Go on. Get out of here. Go. Go on. Bill Priest of uh, Connecticut hates it when his random animals <laughs> run into his house. He has to shoo off dogs, cats, and bears, apparently. Damn. Uh, so he went on, he shoved him, get out, go, 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 move on, get out, move on, fella. But you know what? It doesn't always work that quickly. Let's watch more of what happened. Go, get, go on. Time to leave, get, go. That bear is like the guy at the club that got kicked out from the front. So he decides to go around to the back of the side, <laughs> see if he can sneak in anyway. You sure, you sure? <laughs> but I don't have a t-shirt on, it's a button up. He's not gonna get in, but he already made his way in. Let's go to details of what happened out here. Because this couple that noticed this whole thing also knows that their fridge and freezer had been scoured by this animal with food items found on the ground of their garage. A day later on Monday, again, this was this first video was just on the same day. A day later, the same bear returned to the home located in Walker Lane, breaking a screen door, and it didn't manage to break in this time. Bill and Christine called for the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection to report this incident. And the agency said that it's concerned by the bear's behavior and have provided a direct phone number for Bill and Christine to call should it come around again. Let's take a look at the picture of the the mess that our bear friend left in the kitchen. Apparently he likes marshmallows and crackers. I've been known to snack on marshmallows and crackers before, so I understand where he's coming from. But the reason I bring this up, you guys, and the reason why I wouldn't be yelling, go, stop. I'd be going, stay, because I'm going the hell out of here, because that's just me. Because I have issues because um, of fat guys like this. Remember this guy? Skinned 500 pound black bear, nicknamed Hank the Tank, was accused of getting his paws involved in a series of house break ins in the Lake Tahoe area, known to be a natural bear habitat. With windows smashed, fences broken, and more than 150 incident reports of bear break ins in the area, officials were eager to stop this overbearing forager. They're supposed to be hibernating, but they've been so used to people and being fed year round, they don't they don't really do the bear stuff. Initially, law enforcement warned the bear, also known as Yogi, Chunky, and Big Guy, had seemingly lost its fear of humans and threatened to euthanize the rotund mammal. Now, officials have put the effort on pause. New DNA evidence collected at a recent break-in scene linked a bare minimum of not one, not two, but three bears to these uncanny incidents. New DNA evidence reveals that as many as three bears, two female bears and one male bear, may be responsible for the property damage and home break-ins in the Tahoe Keys neighborhood over the past several months. Jessica, I get the feeling that you wouldn't move out. I'd have been out a long time ago, and I'm sorry to all of my bare natural people who would like to hang out with these yogis and everybody, but it ain't me. No, that's the bear's house now. I would also <laughs> leave, but he lives there, that's his home. There's kind of like diminishing returns. The more successful they are at breaking in, the bigger they get, the harder it is to break in again. And the less fear they have, no, there's, a, there's, there's a deadly combination. You keep all your food out where they can smell and get to it, and they don't fear you anymore, bro. Hey, like I said, mortgage is uh, given, we're gonna go to the bank, I need to sell, let's go straight in. Yes, I'll take half price for the house because the bear comes along with it. Sorry, 